we have a new state-of-the-art AI video generator. One of my favorite video models out there, HiLaw, just released their latest version, HiLaw 2.3. This is a significant upgrade from their previous HiLaw 02. And you might be wondering, well, what happened to version 2.1 or 2.2? Who knows? But anyways, this new HiLaw 2.3 is especially good at physics, high action shots, and world understanding. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the cool things it can do, plus its limitations. And of course, I'm going to compare it with the top video models, Sora 2 and VO 3.1, so you can decide for yourself. Let's jump right in. Now, here's what the interface looks like. I'm going to go over its specs and how to use this in a second. But first, let's start off with some impressive things that it can do. Like I said, HiLaw is very good at generating high action shots. So let's try prompting it with this. A sorceress casting massive fireballs while her opponent summons icy dragons, their powers clashing midair with explosive shockwaves, dynamic camera pans. And then I'm also going to include these keywords to add even more motion and epicness to the video. Let's see what we get. Alright, so here's my generation. As you can see, this is pretty good. It's indeed able to generate what I specified, and it's a really high action scene with dynamic camera pans and intense cinematic movements. Now, if you look closely, there is some noise and distortions around the edges, especially of the icy dragon. And then for your reference, here's the same prompt with Sora 2 and VO 3.1. So as you can see, High Law 2.3 is much more epic and higher action. Unfortunately for Sora 2, the movements are kind of in slow mo for some reason. And then for VO 3.1, again, everything moves very slowly. Plus, this doesn't even look like an epic fight. So at least for this example, I would have to give the point to High Law. Now, they also claim that version 2.3 is really good at physics. So let's test out this really tricky example a man riding a unicycle and juggling red balls. All right, and here's what we get. So it is a dude riding a unicycle and juggling red balls. In fact, the juggling is pretty good. For the unicycle, he's not really moving around like there should be a bit more swaying and balancing on the unicycle, but it seems to be just fixed in that position for some reason. But overall, it's not bad, especially if you compare the generations from Sora 2 and VO 3.1 using the same prompts. Both of them completely fail at juggling. In fact, the dude in Sora 2 isn't even trying. He's just throwing balls everywhere. And then for VO 3.1, it's even worse. So even though High Law 2.3 is not like perfect, at least for this prompt, I would have to give the point to High Law. High Law 2.3 is also really good at prompt understanding. So let's try a really tricky prompt with a lot of different elements. We have a ballerina in a tutu practicing spins in a studio with mirrored walls, scattered with point shoes and sheet music. A rabbit watches atop a grand piano. Outside, an elephant balances on a circus ball. Let's see if it can generate everything that I specified. All right, here's what we get. So we do have this ballerina practicing spins. We do have a studio with mirrored walls, and then the floor is scattered with point shoes and sheet music. We do have a rabbit watching on top of grand piano, although one caveat here is that it's sitting on the bench and not the grand piano. And then we do have an elephant balancing on a circus ball outside the window. So it got most of these elements correct. Plus, the ballerina is actually spinning very accurately. Like, there's no missing limbs or deformations or anything like that. Like, this is anatomically correct. Now, if you compare the same prompt from Sora 2 and VO 3.1, notice that they have a lot more errors. So let's look at Sora 2 first. It's actually not bad, but the ballerina isn't really spinning. I guess the elephant in the background is kind of balancing on the circus ball. So actually, the generation from Sora 2 is not bad. At the bottom, we have VO3. It decided to add three rabbits to the piano. The elephant bouncing on the circus ball is completely wrong, plus it's not even outside the window. And even the ballerina spin is not really correct. So you can see her front kind of switches with her back halfway. So in terms of getting most of the specified elements correct, I would again have to give the point to High Law. All right, here's another prompt to test its physics understanding. So let's try a time lapse of water in a glass that is left outside in the cold where the water slowly freezes. And here's what we get from High Law. This isn't perfect, but it's actually pretty good. So actually for your reference, here is how water should actually freeze in a glass cup in real life. So that's what it looks like. And notice that the water level does go up a bit and that's because ice is less dense than water. 
So going back to this generation by Hai Luo, it's kind of exaggerated and the water level rises up too much, but it's pretty close. Especially if you compare the same prompt from Sora 2 and VO 3.1, then you'll see that Hai Luo 2.3 is actually the most accurate, even though it's still not correct. So for example, Sora 2 never really turns into ice and the water level just goes up way too much. And then for VO3, it's just completely wrong. So even though the generation from High Law 2.3 is not perfect, it's not entirely correct, at least compared to the other video generators, it's still the best. Alright, next let's try some fight scenes with a lot of people. So here we have a group of ninjas ambushing a heavily armored samurai in a bamboo forest with sword strikes, acrobatic flips, and leaves swirling in the wind. And here's what we get. So we do start off with this lone samurai in this bamboo forest and then we have this army of ninjas flying over to surround the samurai and they start attacking him. It's actually a pretty good generation. If you look closely, there's still some like distortion and noise, especially along the edges of the characters and the swords, but for the most part this is pretty good. Now if you use the same prompt with Sora 2 and VO 3.1, here is what you get. So for Sora 2, they could still kind of generate a group of ninjas ambushing a samurai, but Again, everything is just in slow motion. For some reason, I can't really generate a fast moving high action fight scene. And then for VO3, it just cannot generate fight scenes very well, as you can see here. So again, going back to High Law 2.3, notice that everything just looks way more cinematic. The camera movements, the actions of all the characters, it just looks better in my opinion. All right, next let's test its ability to handle different emotions. So let's prompt it with a young woman laughing very hard. Then she looks shocked. Then she bursts out crying. Then she looks really excited. Okay, here's what we get. It does start off with her laughing really hard. Then she does look shocked. Then she does start crying. And then she does kind of look excited. So this is pretty good. It was able to follow my prompt very well. And this does look like a realistic person. Like we don't have any perfect polished and plasticky face that we've seen with older models. And also if you notice her teeth look normal as well. Now here's the same prompt from Sora 2 and VO3. And honestly both of them are also very good. So I would say in this instance it's a tie between all three video models. Here's another example. The prompt is a young figure skater gracefully ice skating on a frozen river that winds through a snowy mountainous canyon. The camera follows her dynamic movements as she skates and twirls. It's going to be a fast tracking shot. And here's what we get from High Law. It does generate everything that I specified in my prompt and I'm just trying to really analyze the anatomy here and I don't see anything horribly wrong with this. It does look like she is spinning very accurately. Like we don't get any deformed limbs, her front isn't suddenly switched with her back. Everything looks pretty good in this generation and this is also very cinematic. I really like the tracking camera movements in this shot. And for your reference, here's the generation from Sora 2 and VO3 and actually both of them are not bad. Sora 2 actually has some really nice motion and camera effects. However, near the end of the scene, she just kind of flies off into the horizon. Like, what is going on? And then for VO 3.1, it starts off okay, but there are some anatomical errors with this generation. Like, near the beginning of the scene, the right leg kind of switches with the left leg. Alright, time to test out your favorite prompt, Will Smith eating spaghetti. Notice that this is just text to video, so let's see if it can actually generate Will Smith just from a text prompt. And here's what we get. It indeed was able to generate Will Smith eating spaghetti. By the way, that's a huge plate of spaghetti and he looks so depressed. I mean, he must be so sick of eating spaghetti by now. But as you can see, Hai Lo is able to understand and generate existing characters very well. In fact, Hai Lo is the only commercial video model that actually allows you to generate celebrities and existing characters. For example, if I use the same prompt in Sora 2, it won't let me generate this. And then for VO3, it generated someone, but this is not the Will Smith that I was going for. So as you can see in this instance, the point would have to go to High Law 2.3. All right, now that's just text to video. Next, let's also test how good it is at image to video. Again, this is where you can upload an image as the start frame of your generation. Notice that if I select High Law 2.3 down here, I cannot upload an end frame yet. So this is only available for the last version, High Law 02. Anyways, for me, I'm going to upload this image as the start frame. This is a pretty chaotic battle scene between a ton of soldiers and this tentacle monster. And then for the prompt, let's write 
an epic fight scene of soldiers versus a giant tentacle monster in the desert, high action, motion blur, intense cinematic, shaky camera. These are all keywords that I like to use to add even more movement to the generation. And then it's going to be a first person view of the soldier. Let's press generate. All right, here's what we get. It's indeed a pretty epic scene, and it looks like it decided to get the soldier to reload on some ammo halfway through the scene. Now, if you look closely, there is some noise with the generation, especially with the soldiers running around in the background. I guess this is expected with such high action scenes with a lot of different elements. And then for your reference, here's the same image and prompt with Sora 2 and VO3. For Sora 2, I don't know what the hell is going on, but everyone is just kind of frozen there. They're not really moving. And then for VO3, it's actually not bad, but it kind of changed the appearance of the tentacle monster. It gave it a mouth for some reason. And again, the movements are just not great. It still kind of has that slow motion effect, even though I explicitly prompted this to be high action. So here again, I would have to give the point to high law. Or let's try another example. I'm gonna input this starting frame and then for the prompts, let's get the warrior to sprint towards the monster. Then he leaps towards the monster, getting ready to strike. The monster opens its mouth and breathes fire, engulfing the warrior in flames. It's gonna be an epic fly through shot tracking the warrior closely. And by the way, for high low, it's always best to actually specify the camera movement or trajectory that you want to give it an even more cinematic effect. All right, and here's what we get. The warrior does start sprinting towards the monster, then he leaps towards it getting ready to strike, and the monster opens its mouth and breathes fire engulfing the warrior. So for the most part, it nailed this prompt. The only error here is the sword that the man is holding is not really consistent across the entire scene, but other than that, everything looks very good and cinematic. Now here's the same prompt with Sora 2 and VO 3.1 and again you can see that the other two video models are not even close. So for Sora 2, the dude runs so slowly like it takes him an eternity to get to the damn monster. And then for VO 3, again the movements are just way slower compared to High Law. And then I don't know what the hell he's doing at the end but the warrior isn't even getting ready to strike the monster. So again, in this instance, I would have to give the point to High Law. Next, let's also try an anime scene. So I'm going to upload this scene. Again, it's pretty complex with a lot of details. This time, I'm just gonna leave the prompt empty and then click generate. And here's what we get. So for the most part, this is pretty good. This does look like a scene from an anime show. It's also able to retain the details of the characters plus the motorcycles and the motion is also very nice. Now here's the same prompt with Sora 2 and VO 3.1. For Sora 2, I don't know why, but it just could not generate them actually driving through this highway. They just remain like still the whole time, which is really weird. And then for VO 3.1, equally as weird, somehow it detected that this was sensitive content and it would not generate a video from my start frame. So again, in this instance, I would have to give the point to Hilo 2.3. Next, I want to see how good it is at maintaining consistency for a very complicated image. So I'm going to upload this really busy photo of a marketplace with a ton of stalls and items and people. And for the prompt, I'm just going to leave it blank and click generate. All right, and here's what we get. So it's not bad, but you do see some warping on some of the faces, especially for the people in the background. And here's the same prompt with Sora 2 and VO 3.1. For Sora 2, it would not allow me to upload any photos of realistic people, so I couldn't even generate this. And then for VO 3.1, it's not bad, but again in the background, we still get a lot of warping and noise. So it's the same issue with both High Law 2.3 and VO 3.1. If you have a really busy scene with a lot of details, especially in the background, you still get a lot of noise and distortion. All right, here are some final tests that are even trickier that I don't expect any video generator to get correct at the moment. So for the prompt, it's going to be a professor explaining the Pythagorean theorem on the whiteboard. And here's what we get. So instead of the Pythagorean theorem, he seems to be explaining the Payagananana theorem, which apparently looks like this. As you can see, Hilo is not really good with text and it's not able to actually generate a diagram of the Pythagorean theorem. And for your reference, here is the same prompt with Sora 2 and VO 3.1. You can see that Sora 2 was actually the closest, so it was able to at least write the formula at the top, but the diagrams and everything else were still wrong. And then for VO3, again, 
everything is just not correct. So none of them could actually get this prompt correct, but Sora 2 came pretty close. Here's another really tricky prompt which I don't expect it to get correct. So we have an instructional motion graphic video showing how data flows through an artificial neural network. Let's press run and see if it can handle that. Okay, here's what we get and this is not correct. This does not look like how data should flow through an artificial neural network. And then for your reference, here's the same prompt with Sora 2 and VO 3.1. Again, Sora 2 was the closest here. At least this kind of resembles how an artificial neural network looks like. For VO3, it just got this completely wrong. So overall, none of these three video models was able to get the prompt correct, but Sora 2 came pretty close. All right, so that sums up my test on this latest Hylua 2.3. As you can see, for high action, high movement, fight scenes or battle scenes, or for really complex prompts with a lot of elements, or for physically challenging prompts like figure skating or ballet, Hylua 2.3 does very well. It also has a really good world understanding of existing characters, so you can even generate Will Smith with just a prompt or other anime characters, and it also has the least amount of guardrails. Now, let's also talk about its limitations. So, unlike VO3 and Sora 2, High Lord does not have audio built in, so all the videos that I showed you today are silent. You need to plug it into some other video to audio generator to actually generate the audio for your clip. And then let's also look at the specs. Now, currently, you can generate two different resolutions, either 768 or 1080p, and two different durations, either 6 seconds or 10 seconds. Notice that if I select 1080p, then it will only allow me to generate 6 second clips and not 10 seconds. But I'm sure they're going to add this soon. Also, as I mentioned briefly before, currently for Hilo 2.3, this does not support end frames yet. So if you want to upload an image as the end frame of your video generation, then you'll have to use the last version of Hilo, which is Hilo 02. Now, the feature I really like about Hilo is that they also offer a ton of presets, and these are basically predefined prompts that you can insert into your prompt to give it more guidance. And in addition to these presets, they also offer this camera control option where you can actually select different camera movements in your prompt. So for example, we have stuff like orbit or circling shots like this, or we have tilt shots like this, or tracking shots like this. Anyways, adding these camera movements to your prompts would give it a more cinematic effect. Now by the time that this video goes out or very shortly afterwards, Hilo 2.3 should be released already. And at least for me, as you can see here, I get four free trials of Hilo 2.3 every day. So take advantage of this free offer, it's free to sign up and try this out. And that sums up my review of High Law 2.3. In terms of physics, high action shots, and world understanding, this is definitely among the top video models out there, even surpassing Sora 2 and VO3, as long as you don't need to generate sound with your video. Let me know in the comments what you think of this and what other cool generations were you able to come up with. As always, I will be on the lookout for the top AI news and tools to share with you. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, there's just so much happening in the world of AI every week, I can't possibly cover everything on my YouTube channel. So to really stay up to date, with all that's going on in AI, be sure to subscribe to my free weekly newsletter. The link to that will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.